Hey guys, welcome to my channel of digital illustrations tutorials on digital painting in Adobe Photoshop. So, if you are new to here, hey, I come up every week with some new, some fun, and some very helpful tricks tutorials for you guys to make your workflow go easier and easier in Photoshop. So keep watching this video and hit the subscribe button down below to never miss any other video update. And today I will be talking about how to paint these freshly done breakfast things in Adobe Photoshop in no time. So let's begin. Open your Photoshop on the device and you can take a screenshot of this screen right now. You can see here is the color palette that I'm gonna use today and use those similar colors for your illustration or you can choose your own color palette and follow with me here step by step. From the layer panel below, there is the new layer icon and I will be making a new layer over here just by click on that. That will be our base bread layer. Today I will be using just simple basic brush that is the hard round brush and select the darkest color from the color palette make a sketch of brush with these simple lines like this if you are not happy with somewhere like this you can just use the eraser tool with the hard round brush selected for the erasing part Erase it over there and redraw it. You can see we are done with the, our base clean sketch. Use G shortcut for color bucket fill tool. Double click over here with the same color inside and it will just fill it in over here. Now similarly I am going to use the next color that is the a mid-tone of the skin tones kind of thing so just select it make use the brush tool similarly way and make the outline and fill it in Now use the third, the lightest color, make a similar outage and again fill it inside. With the mid-tone color selected and a bigger brush size, I'm gonna cut out some darker edges and modify my base sketch. You can also do the same if you are not happy with the results. You can anytime just paint, overlap and make the things right. Now with the same brush but with a lower size, I'm gonna add some nice textures. You can either you paint these texture on the same layer or just use a new layer and paint the textures over there. In the both way it's kind of good. So I'm quickly adding a scattered texture like this. Fill it up inside till here. Don't stiff your hand and things and we keep it simple and organic. Now make a new layer and make a white color shape for our next step 
fill it inside in the similar way now with the bright white color I'm gonna add some few highlights over the edges like this and with the darker that is the slighter gray color I will be adding at further points the shadows now with a new layer yellow color selected make the brush size bigger and just click it inside it will be filled as a circle now with the soft round brush selected and make a new layer with the darker color I will be painting shadows like this from the outer side with the mid tone of yellow selected slow down the brush size and paint it on this side this is just making the bounce light effect kind of thing for the center piece now again with the white color selected and brush size keep it smaller and opacity to 30% paint a slighter highlight now going to the white shape layer make a new layer create a clipping mask by hitting right click and select create clipping mask with the white color selected I am painting the highlights more brighter now shift the color to the darker gray in the palette and paint for the shadows in the base layer again I am switching to the white base layer select the darker gray and make some details as you can see on the left I am making similar details over here in the right side now go to the bread layer make a new layer above it create a clubbing mask and for that layer I am gonna use the all the tones that we used for painting the bread thing now with the soft round brush switch the mode to color dodge select the mid tone color of bread or the lightest color also just paint it duplicate the white shape layer here you can see the lower one I have selected it with the transform tool expanded it to a bigger size and duplicate again by hitting ctrl J and rotate it change the mode to the multiply of both the other layers this is adding the shadows and here with the second color with the soft light I am painting to make our bread more crisp looking and with the 100% opacity and the darkest color selected I am painting some few edges isn't this this freshly baked breakfast for you guys so if you like the tutorial here with me so don't forget to subscribe here and stay tuned for the next video